you guys, I, I can't believe what you're doing. And I'm like, why are you making us? We're just seamstresses. Like we're not just making masks. Like you're in hospital saving lives, but they're right. so, they're so appreciative to us. And it's just so emotional and overwhelming that they feel that way about us because I feel that way about them. I'm like, hey, yeah. if I get sick, remember me. <laughs> <laughs> we're a family owned company of 45 years. The name of the company, Tina D. Martina, is my grandma and her mom. So my grandma isn't here with us because she's working from home. Once we closed, we decided, you know, we had this big factory and we kept hearing the pleas for PPE and masks and, you know, just kind of like cries for help. And we said, you know, we could do that. We can make masks. So within the first five or six days, my mom and I were here seven days a week um, 15 hours a day, we pumped out 500 masks between the two of us. We just started from there, with, and we said we're just going to start donating to all of these hospitals and doctors and nurses and police and whoever needs it because we're going to sit at home or we're going to come in here and make masks for people. So we decided to come here. We're not making a living doing this, but just the appreciation that people are showing us and I mean, the kind words and the texts and, you know, people sending us pictures of them in hospitals wearing our masks. It's, you know, like, it gets us so excited and so much more, you know, motivated to keep going. And I, you asked us two weeks ago what you were going to be doing in two weeks ago, go, making more dresses. Like, yeah. no, we're at a thousand and thirty something masks. It's masks. It's just <laughs> crazy. It's great that she can do it. She's in, thank God, she's in great shape. And, um, you know, she's got a lot of energy. And I think she also feels, you know, at that, at this point in her life, like that she's able to give back. I mean, not everyone knows how to sew. So it's a talent that she has that she's able to, you know, help us with our mission. And at this point, we've done over a thousand masks and it's been under two weeks. I would say to people that are out of work right now, try to keep busy and try to make yourself essential. I mean, my hope and, my mom's hope is that, you know, we can give back as much as we can to the community and that when this is over, people will keep us in mind and keep every small business in mind.